Uh, it is after 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, January the 30th, 2019, and I'm still out here at the grounds of the Port Charlotte, Florida Fair, which starts on Friday. Uh, but today I was really hoping to do a nice cooking from inside the camping vi camper video. I haven't done one of those in a while. I guess I set everything up outside. It was going to be more of a cooking from outside the camper. Uh, and so I've been waiting and hoping that this little mini circus fair thing would finish with their practice rehearsal deal uh, so that we could have a nice quiet cooking video. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. They'll probably just keep practicing until the sun goes down. So if I'm going to do a cooking video, we're just going to have to deal with some noise in the background. Hopefully it won't be enough to get me a copyright strike. So let's get started. Looking at some of these cook times, it, uh, it's probably going to get dark before I am done with this. So I'll probably have to set up some extra work lights. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just uh, power on through and, and get this done. Uh, today's cooking video is going to be more of a dessert theme cooking video. Uh, we're going to be making Jello S'mores. And I found this at a Dollar General, like on the discount shelf, but it got me really curious looking at it. Jello and S'mores just doesn't look like two words that normally go together. But it's got a mix in there to add the graham cracker crust to the bottom and also a little baggie of marshmallows to sprinkle that on the top afterward. And uh, so I am curious to see just how much will this jello actually taste like a s'more. Um, also, this was one that was given to me for Christmas, and it's a nice, neat little gourmet pack. It comes with its own bread crust mix and apple spice and a little pie tin to cook it in. Well, actually, really nice. It's like a stoneware pie tin to cook it in with the instructions on the back and so I've got everything else out here that I'm going to need so I'm gonna start with the jello first Dare I say it or hope? I think the circus people might actually be done with the rehearsals. Anyway, I do believe this is a nice even layer of the graham cracker crust on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get started on the next layer, the jello mix. It's very chocolatey smelling. That part of it they have gotten very right. The chocolatey, the rich chocolatey smell of a s'more. Now the recipe at this point calls for two cups of milk. And I don't normally buy milk because I normally go with an almond milk or something like that. I think that's a lot better for you when you're drinking milk straight. It's not good for digest, especially at my age. Um, but I felt like this recipe, I really didn't need to buy actual milk. And uh, I figured out, after a little bit of a Google search, I should have been able to remember this from my third grade uh, class, that there are two cups, exactly two cups, and one pint. So I just simply bought one pint of milk, and I, instead of needing to measure it out, I'm just going to empty this entire thing into the mixture. Before anybody says it, yes, I am aware you're not supposed to use metal utensils in a Teflon coated container, but resources are limited. I live in a camper. This was the only pot that I could find with a metal bottom that would uh, work with my New Wave burner. So I'm just trying to be ginger and not let the spoon scrape too much. Well, with the cool temperatures out here, that appears to already be thickening up. So let's go ahead and get this next step underway. Go ahead and get it, spread it on top of that crust. All right, I'm now supposed to put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for an hour before I put those marshmallows 
and the graham cracker crust across the top. So let's just do that while I get uh, the start start on the apple pie. Now get cleaned up and started on the apple pie. Instruction number one is to preheat the oven to 350, and we're doing this in a toaster oven. Uh, so let's go ahead and set the 350, put it on bake, light comes on, and some of you might recognize this toaster oven from some of my previ previous videos, and uh, you might notice I've, I've scrubbed it out. It doesn't, still doesn't look real good, but it looks a lot better than it did. All right, we got the work light set up now. All right, first step is to get the, uh, the crust mix ready. And uh, pretty simple, really. So just to empty it into uh, the mixing bowl and put in the butter. Okay, there's one. And there is number, tablespoon number three. Now I'm supposed to add the water, which is actually not much at all. I just said one and a half tablespoons of water. So there, there's one, and uh, and let's go to the half. Right. That's starting to look like pie crust dough right there. Now I'm supposed to let this chill for 30 minutes, and so uh, while I'm doing that, I believe I will go ahead and uh, core the apple, which is the the next step anyway. Now I'm supposed to put in the high spices on these apple chunks. I'm just going to empty the entire thing in there. And I'm also throwing in some craisins because I like craisins and it seems like an appropriate thing to add to an apple pie. So let's go ahead and get these, these all coated nicely with the spices. Now that, that looks like a pretty good pie filling right there, I, I think. Alright, now back to the uh, pie crust dough. It's saying to roll it out on a floured surface, but I don't have any flour, and uh, I don't have a roller, so we're just going to have to make do. Uh, now, of course, the bottom is going to have to be at least a third larger than the top because it has to cover the curvature of the bowl. Hopefully it'll come off of the aluminum foil cleanly, I hope. And that is, that is my hope. What up here is though I was totally wrong. It ain't a doing that. Ah, I wish it had, I'd read that floured surface earlier so I could have saved some of the flour out. And uh, that would have been easier to do. Looks like we're just gonna have to piece it together. You know, I had a subscriber one time tell me that uh, describe my cooking videos as unintentionally funny. I'm starting to understand where that is coming from. Okay, 
there we go that is uh, the pie crust let's go ahead and get the pie fillings on in there put that on in there get into my pie get in there get in there get into my pie okay now let's see if I can get the top of this pie covered without it looking too terribly homemade alright so there we go uh, it definitely has the homemade look that I was trying to avoid I'm sure it'll still taste fine though I think I'll cut a few fancy slits in there before I stuff it in the oven <laughs> there does that help at all <laughs> alright let's see if the oven makes it look any better Alright, the instructions say 30 to 35 minutes. I think this would be a good opportunity for me to go ahead and pull that jello out of the refrigerator and uh, see how it has done. Alright, according to the instructions, pulling it out by the uh, aluminum is supposed to come out evenly, so no problem. Oh, look at that, it does. Wow, that is nice. Okay, now I'm supposed to go ahead and uh, and decorate the top of it. Start with that little bit of graham cracker crust that I saved out. So this is actually the same kind of thing that's on the bottom, just without any butter added to it. Just, just the graham cracker crumble. Now, the marshmallows. Put some of these here marshmallows on it. Boy, that really is starting to look like what it looked like on the front of the box. And it is done. Maybe, maybe even a little extra done. We've got a a nice golden brown at least on uh on this side. This side, like I said, is a little extra done still looks and smells delicious so I'm gonna call it at least a at least a moderate success so let's uh, let this cool and then give it the taste test and there it is all plated up and uh, as far as the uh, jello s'more goes we're talking some real truth in advertising there there's the uh, dessert and there's the front of the box and pretty much pretty much the same all right so uh, the taste test let's start with um, Let's start with the Jello. Oh, there's some chocolate on my face. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a, some more flavor there, but uh, we could do with a little bit more graham cracker. That graham cracker taste really is not coming through. We're getting the marshmallow. We're getting the chocolate. Really weak on the on the graham cracker. But for the bargain bin at a Dollar General, that's not bad. All right, now. The apple pie. You know, it really was a good call to put those craisins in there. Yeah, the um, there is a good combination of uh, cinnamon and sugar in the spices, but they could have used a little bit of um, maybe some ginger or some allspice in there to uh, to really amp it up some. So kind of bland, really, as far as the apple spices, but. Adding the craisins. That was a good call. Alright. So that's going to be it for the, today's cooking video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and smash that thumbs up like button. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and requests. And um, subscribe. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. And make sure to ring that bell icon so you'll start receiving notifications. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next episode.